there will be no training talk because I'm playing with numbers. <laughs> what is 41 out of 55? 55 into 4. And I've lost my calculator, so that's not helping. So that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That must be 7. 7 times 5 is 35, is 3 to carry. It's 35, is 3 to carry, is 38. That's 15, that leaves me 25 there. 25 is 1, 2, 3, it's about 3. About 3. 41 out of 55. Seventy-three. Twelve out of fifty-five. Twelve. Fifty-five into twelve. One, two. No, no, no. It's one ten. Hey, hey, hey. One hundred. That's about two-something. Twenty-two. Twenty-two? And that leaves me with ninety-five. And... That would then be 5%. Oh, boys. Save it quick. Um, what I'm doing is... Oh, no, 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 dude. That door's unlocked. I'll open. Yeah. Get some of those. There's two right there. What I'm doing is figuring out all the puppies we have had what their colors, what their parents are, and what their colors are. Thank you. And if you read black to black, we get black 100%. We know that. We just did that. Okay? Thank you. If you breed a black to a harlequin, we get 50%. The Great Dane Club of America gets 49%. We get 26% of Harls. Oh, the, the 50% blacks. 26% Harls. And 24% Merles. I'm going to put that on a graph. We get 50, 26, 24. They get 49, 33, 17. Damn close. Almost. Okay, so now when you breed harlequins to harlequins, they get 24, 33, 17, 25. We get 27, 40, 16, 16. So there is that spike in harls. Can't believe they're already up there. Huh. Then when you breed merles to black, We get 40, 40, and 20. They get 50, 25, and 25. I'm going to put this all in a piece of paper. Merle to Harl, which is Scarlet and Bentley. This is the problem one. Let's see. Oh, okay. We get 33% black. They get 25. We get 25% Harl, 25% Merle, and 17% White. They get 25, 25, 25. So we're slightly less in Black, slightly, uh, slightly more in Black, slightly less in Whites, but still, it, the White is very significant there. And that's breeding Merles to Harls. I don't know what color Walter is, so that presented a problem down here. Yeah, well he, produced, he produced well 55 puppies of Walter and Gromit. 41 were black, mostly black. 12 Harls, 2 Merles. So I'm going to put all that on a graph. Yeah, by tomorrow, maybe. Save it. Okay. Who did this?
Intern. Intern. Is intern here? Yes. Yes. Are you the one that did all these pieces of paper? Yes. You want to see what I did with it? Sure. Absolutely. I was trying to get more I sorted on the color. So the black, black, when you breed blacks to blacks, we get 51 blacks, and that's 100%. They didn't get anything else but blacks. When you breed blacks to harlequins, we get 50% blacks. They get 49%. That's pretty damn close. Do you do statistics at all? I mean, not very good at it, but I Well, have. I mean, you can see the numbers. You can see yeah, the way they go. Yeah, you can see it. And 50, 26, 24, 49, 33, 17. We're still well within the whole deal here, okay? Then with Harl to Harl, see, you get in trouble here. Um, the red is their percentage. Right. So we'll find out. But thank you very much for what you did. Absolutely. That's what it now looks like. And things like that. Great. Thank you. That was, that's very interesting. It, it's it's going to be different. Is she the first white mother? Yes. Yeah. I always kick myself for, for spaying her. Yeah. Then we go, oh, don't breed white dogs. So I spayed one of my very best dogs in the whole world long ago. That was a mistake. So this time I'm not doing it. Huh? I said, oh, that's a puzzle. Mm -hmm. It is a puzzle. That's very cool. She is in that tree, too. Yep. She's in that tree. Yeah. No, I can... It's I, not Photoshop. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> that I wasn't questioning. It totally no, looks no. real. We don't, we don't Photoshop. With the cat on the... Any anyway, rate, this thing... Yes. I'm going to get rid of... I'm, I'm going to break it down so I have just, just the percentages. But I think that's very interesting. I'll make it, I'll make it into a graph tomorrow. <coughs> what am I doing? I'm opening the mail. Mail call. Is that what I'm... Mail call! Okay. Thanks for trainer talk. It's very interesting. Wait, we missed out on trainer talk. Well, you're, you were trainer talk. Today. I was trainer talk. Statistics Life 101. Mike is on, right? Mike is on. Don't They've been listening to me blather. They love that stuff. Oh, well, we have a new donkey. Did you know that? I saw it on the camera. Yes. Of the copper. The reason we have the donkey is Janine got a bunch of donkeys in from the slaughter pen last night. You know, she does this. I don't know how many she got, but she got three orphans. And they are all nursing off one mother. Oh, boy. Oh. And this one is obviously, I think, obviously going to well, fall, fall, fall pretty soon. And Janine didn't want her to fall all the, over there with these other bunch that are all already all screwed. <laughs> So, so she asked me if I'd take it, so I said, fine. No, no, we'll it does have a little bit of, <coughs> not an awful lot more than me, but she's got a funny, funny breathing. Mm -hmm. And we know that there's a history of pneumonia coming out of that slaughter pen. It's like kids going to kindergarten. They all come home with a runny nose. Well, that's what happens when they all, so they all have it. And we basically give them this antibiotic that the veterinarian prescribed, and they get better, hopefully. Being very heavily in fall, you worry all the time, but you know, we're doing the best we can. Right. I, I don't think there'll be a problem because she's not that thick. I wasn't about to take her temperature because she kicks like a son of a bitch. <laughs> it's probably <laughs> just allergies. The very bad rear end on the... That was the temperature. Give her a shot. Run. <laughs> when you give a shot to a... Do you know how to give a shot to a donkey? Um, not really. Well, you're about to learn. You take the needle off the syringe. You, you load the syringe. You take the needle off, and then you got the needle in this hand, like this, and you, you hit them, hit them, hit them with this, and then you stick the needle in, they don't even know it's there. But if they do jump around, if they do jump in, the needle is in there, which is fine. It generally stays there. And then when they quiet down, you come along, and you screw the thing on, and squish it in, and you got it. You don't want to stick the whole needle in, because if they jump around, you know, you got too much leverage. The needle yeah, falls out of the hay and everything else. But you just take the needle off and bang, bang, bang with the back of your hand and then just stick it in. Works. Hmm. Okay, that's your lesson for today. I like it. <laughs> Different. What have we got here? 
Essex Agricultural Meeting, September. I'm not about to go. Okay, next. Did, did you listen to me last night? A bit, you. Really stupid. I decided I was going to order oranges because I like these certain oh, oranges yeah, 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 yeah. That, that Florida produces in January. Do you think there's a tree in Florida that God has, has any oranges on it? <laughs> You know? I'm inkling that no. <laughs> no. I don't think we hope I don't so, think we're gonna get I any know, green. I hope, but any nice oranges from Florida. Mm -hmm. I haven't got any mail. Here we go. Are go. Oh, carry out. Carry out. Carry out. Carry out. This is carry out. So, I eat carry. K A R I O U T. Carry out. <laughs> Oh, dear me. Now, what would that be, German? <clears throat> this person. I don't know who this person is. You got a good sense of humor. I was going to write, I miss you all over this card, Anne, but I ran out of oink. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cute. That's a cute okay. card. <laughs> It is a cute card. Okay. I had some great jokes last night, too. Uh, I, I, I heard. Yes. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that they goes just in the pot. Without running out of oink. Oh. <coughs> Cordial greetings. That yeah, goes in the pot. Okay, next we have John Farley, Rosendale, Massachusetts. I wonder if they're related to Walter Farley. Walter Farley wrote one of my very favorite books when I was a kid. But it was the Black Stallion. They then made a movie out of it. Wonderful movie. Good I'm horse. I'm pretty sure I saw the movie. Huh? I'm pretty sure I've seen the movie. This kid point. gets on an island with a with a horse, and somehow the two of them survive together. <clears throat> and they finally get picked up by a freighter. It's a good story. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think this. like to whip through these very quickly. <coughs> I guess I'm going to whip through it some other time. Is it a donation? No. No? No, it's an apple can. Oh, okay. I'll put it in the, put it in Linda's spot. There it is. It's in there. Okay, I did all that, right? Now I got the boxes. This is from somebody. Oh. Well, this doesn't seem to be from anybody special. Okay. It's amazing I haven't cut myself yet with this thing, right? Mm -hmm. But I always, I always, if you watch, I always click it back in. Smart. I try. Direct ship. Whatever it is, it's a direct ship. Okay, you have that one. One of these days, it's going to be very embarrassing to open something because I don't know what it is. It's a direct ship or something. Something. Your order has arrived. We're getting closer. Oh! Oh, somebody did these for us. Here you go. Oh, nice. There's a oh. whole box of these things. Wow. Wow, that's very cool. Wow, that's right. There'll be a slight delay while we stop and read them. Oh! Brochures. Just live on explore.org. Go to explore and check out any of the seven. Uh oh. 
I didn't do something I was supposed to do. Service dog project. Anybody there? Nobody's there. Hello. Yes. Never mind my Toyota. For God's sake, I get so mad at them. Oh, that was very nice. Vista print. Are those the ones from... Their order has arrived. They're just woozy. Huh? Are those the ones from... Um... Yes. Yep. Good. Oh, is it? I feel Jana. Like yes. Jana? I'll just put that in there because maybe we'll... Jana? Yeah. We used to call your sister number 44. Okay. I don't know why. I've forgotten why. She, her, her sister is, is the one that has that huge house that has that wonderful fireplace that we took for the calendar. I mean, the, the fireplace has to be the, the side of that whole side of our house. I mean, it was two stories, and there were, there were holes where we could put dogs in the, in the home. It's going to be a good picture. What are we going to do with these? What are you, you're going to take them out and put them in Linda's thing before we lose them. Yep. Okay. Dawn Romero. Okay. From Colorado. She's the one with the kids. She's a school teacher. The Stedman's. The Stedman bunch. Yep. Probably watching. That's true. They probably are. Hi, Stedman. <laughs> Watch me cut myself while I'm playing watching. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. This is good. This is good. Whoopsie. The whole big bang tool. Good stuff. You ready? I'm going to give it to you. There you go. Oh. Very nice. And that's not, that's wonderful stuff. So we got sticky now. Well, hang on to that. All that's right. Ace body bars. They probably collected all this stuff. Go probably on. going to hotels. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. My kind of people like. <laughs> we we put it out, and you're welcome to take it. You know, it's some good stuff. Don Romero, Stedman, Stedman. Carlene, well, thank you for all you do to make your lives so many, whoops. Oh, oh, my word. Wow. Large ones, too. Wow. Okay. To make the lives of so many people. People from the recipients to the many camera people and for us. We've learned so much from you. Each year I share the Nutty Professor mail calls with my classes. <laughs> they so love them. Perhaps the best thing that you have taught my kids is to dream big. One of my students from three years ago came to visit and said, Carlene saw a need to enable the mobility impaired to have a quality life without obstacles, life where they could move like others and enjoy every moment with a partner and Great Dane service dog. I've enclosed our spirit sticks. My kids did a readathon and earned $132. They wanted to add something unique to their spirit sticks. So we collected $2 bills and made origami bow ties to add to their pictures. The $10 plus the 16 $2 bill bow ties should add up to <coughs> $132. I think that probably will do that. They also picked their favorite puppy and included it on their spirit sticks. We also collected marbles and golf balls from Monkey Fist. Added dog treats, washcloths that are washed, people treats, storage organizers, sticky notes, and hotel samples. My hope, my prayer, is that someday a few of my kids will make it to Service Dog Project or even Dog Fest. Again, thank you for all that you do. We keep watching and learning. Isn't that wonderful? The kids said, it's illegal to burn the money, 
Carlene will keep the $2 bills, right? Of course she will. <laughs> First, the right mind would burn money. Just checking. Know that Carlene lives at Crazy Acres, right? <laughs> That's what Carlene's not crazy. <laughs> it's a little drafty sometimes. Yeah. That's very nice. Thank you. Okay, so we have more things to open. Will you hang out of that? We're not done. She puts together funny things. So this is going to take a while here. Okay, no. Let me wait for very well. Well, here we go. Kids' spirit sticks with the origami to allow bow ties. Please remove the two dollar bills if you bring them. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, I see. Okay. Here we go. This woman is creative. She is creative. Is there nothing in that thing right there? That's nothing. Okay. So here we go. Look at this. Oh. Summer Scholars. Cute. Third to sixth grade. Isn't that a fun? That's so fun. Yeah. Isn't that hysterical? Well, okay, so we need a bunch of sticks. We need a bunch of sticks. We haven't got enough. I'll put them together after. Okay. We'll put them, set them down over there. Yep. And we'll put them on oh sticks later. We'll keep going here, okay? They're on your metal cart. Oh, my word. We have golf balls. <laughs> okay. Yeah, marbles, too. Did you yeah. see that? I, 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 yeah, those are the golf There's balls. A lot of marbles. A lot of marbles in there? Marbles. Marbles. Yeah. Oh, good. I need marbles. Mm. And here we have large large claws. Large wash balls and some toothing brushes. Look at that. That goes with the other, with the hotel stuff. And these are all large things when the next puppy episode. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at more of these. That's good. Essential storage container. Well, that'll be fun. <laughs> okay, we'll give that to Linda. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Look at this stuff. Wow. Oh, gosh. Steve should be here, right? Oh, I love these, too. You do, too? <laughs> yeah. I like the cans. Yeah, I like the cans, I like too. the cans. I don't know why, but I really heavy. like those cans. We need them for a lot of things. <clears throat> something's going on in here. <laughs> We're dog cookies? Oh, boy. And some really big dog cookies. <laughs> okay. Well, then we make a mess now. <sighs> okay, and then... I'll close over here my monkey fist department, and I'm off and running, right? Oh, that, that's one of my boxes, too? One more, yeah. One more. Okay, so you've got those, and you're going to get them in a box over there by the candy so that people can take anything they want, right? I think we have enough of the guest house, which is the other place we keep them with. Okay, here we have Pat. Randstrom. From somewhere. Okay. Ha ha! <laughs> Some more jars of dog cookies. Jars of dog cookies. Isn't that wonderful? Okay. That was in Pat Ramster, right? Mm -hmm. Well, that wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy feeling more often. Well, we do that. We'll put that on the floor. And then that one goes on the floor. And we have these bottles. They're so handy. Small ones, too. Just don't go look below them. Okay. Okay. I did all that. 
Okay. Your marbles. Oh yeah. Ah, marbles. Good. Good marbles. That's the right size. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, you're waiting for me to get out of the way. Eventually. You don't have to go in my room then. They should go in one of those cans. That's what they should go. Okay. What are we going to do with the barbels? We're going to take the barbels. We're going to do it in my room. Or at least on the shelf over there. Some place where I take them in my room. Ah, okay, we did that. Okay, and then that's, <coughs> that's the water drink. I think it's a water drinking thing. What am I to click on? <laughs> What's this? Up, 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 up. down. What? There one. This one? Yep. Over here on the top left. Right in the gray thing. Right there. Up, 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 up. Right there. Down. There. Does that say mail somewhere there? AOL, yeah. new mail. Live view. Oh, that's not what we're doing. We did that, didn't we? Sorry about that. Okay, go on over to watch us live. <laughs> Over there. That's oh, okay, it. yeah. <laughs> oh, I hope nobody asked me anything terribly complicated. There you go. When you watch Explore on that Safari thing, it doesn't let you see the big pictures. Oh, really? Yeah. You have to go in through the other one. You're reading all those that fast? I'm trying to get back to... Oh. We'll start here. <clears throat> Lila May says, hi, everyone. It's one of the Florida people. Uh, okay. Pam is still rolling. She needs a big tip, I think. Okay. David, could you please pass this message to Tom? I met him at SDP a couple of weeks ago. Hello, Tom. That was great work with Gabby last night and with the new mom donkey today. You have the special something that animals and people alike just love. Did you hear that, Tom? Tom. What's that? You got a stamp of approval. Oh. You get a gold star for your forehead. Great. They said you were doing a wonderful job with the animals. Oh, thank you. Both the dog and the donkeys. Thank you. You didn't get kicked in the head. <laughs> this is a good thing. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Blue Penguin, yes, knock on wood. First mail call I have watched since like Friday ish. Hello from a very wet Jacksonville, Florida. Big, wow. huge penguin huggies, SDP, and my CP family. I think everybody has accounted for right it. Right back at you. We were minus one for a while, then she finally checked in, and so Tina has checked with everybody. Mm -hmm. Tom has been a blessing. You're, you're, you're new around, so you don't realize this is all over the United States, really. Because we had somebody driving from here to Louisiana <clears throat> that had, a, they got tomain poisoning, or, or what was that? Tomain poisoning, I guess, in Tennessee? and they just couldn't drive any further for a day or so. And one of our CPs went out on the highway, picked them up, and took them home. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's unbelievable. The whole community. 
It is a community, yeah. and they they they're available. They help each other out. And, mm -hmm. You know what's going on. And international. International. Um, one of our recipients, um, the gal who can't talk too well. They went from here to Florida. They bounced between all, all the way down. Oh right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cindy, Cindy. Right? Yeah, Cindy. Yeah. Can't remember who she has. She has a dog. Yep. There you go. Go on with the next one. It's, it's a <laughs> <I don't remember. laughs> Okay. All right. You're going to love this one. Can't wait until the Halloween candy starts rolling in. Oh, come on. <laughs> good candy. Oh, good candy. Hey, Stedman Kids and Mrs. Romano. Marbles. Hmm. How many lost marble jokes will be forthcoming? <laughs> I'm There's confused. Each of those, per those, see the things hanging up there? The white and the purple? See the purple is up high? I haven't, see those? Yep. Those are pretty. I'm going to dye the rest of them. They go around with Each and every one has a marble. Marbles. Oh, those are very cool. <laughs> you should have been here when I, Betsy wanted to make some jewelry out of oh. the monkey fist. You had to bring it down in size. I was trying to make a monkey fit out of a thread. I, I did it finally, but it was, it was hard. It was hard. <laughs> it was hard. I had tweezers and uh, it was fun. It was fun. One person says, I'm confused. Do we have a new donkey? Why? Yes, yes we, have we a do. New donkey. She's, she's closest, <coughs> closest to the camera. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Is she a little larger than the rest of them? She is a standard donkey. She's a very good-looking donkey. Yeah. Um, she's also very pregnant, and she's all bagged up. Um, she and traveled can, all last night from heaven knows where. And she can kick. And she can kick. Um, but so could Mo when she got here. To, mm -hmm. Oh, what, a week? Yeah, a little bit. Saying, no, wait a minute, these guys have carrots. I don't want to kick them. <laughs> Donkeys are almost like dogs, intelligence-wise. They're very similar, I mm -hmm. think. You have to let them develop their personalities, as you would a dog. If you lock them in a stall like you do a horse, they, they'll get themselves in trouble somehow. But uh, they're, they're fun animals. OK, uh, C.P. Carroll would be very happy to help you empty some of those pyroline <laughs> containers. What size marbles do you use for the monkey fist? It's a, they're half inch. Half inch. Mm -hmm. They're pretty standard. The problem is they used to use them for flowers, but now somebody's gotten the idea of squishing them so they don't roll. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. So now you got these, and they don't work. No. I need marbles. How is Bentley? Bentley's fine. Wherever he is. He's out back. Tom Terrific has charmed Gabby. He gives her great massages. Yeah. Audrey is pregnant. Audrey is official. So what'd she do? I think they're bringing her for dog fest. Yep. Yeah. Staying with her? And she's due shortly there? Yes, she's staying with, up here with yeah. just Jerry. Mm -hmm. Soon. <laughs> Grammy Jerry and Grampy Stephen are happy. Jerry and Stephen, husband and wife, <clears throat> put put together, help put together that white tent that's down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had it came in three trucks, a whole bunch of pipe and canvas and, and a, a bunch of directions, and they put it together, read those directions, and they never fought one whole week. Can you imagine husband and wife working together for a whole week on something like that and not fighting? I mean, it was just, all of us were just sitting right here watching. It was fascinating. Yeah, right? they were on camera quite a bit. Right. <laughs> they were really, yeah. And they'd figure things out, and they'd kind of work things out, and they, they never fought. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. You could get over it. Next. Have not asked in a while, dearest Carlene, what is dessert and will it involve whipped cream and sprinkles? I already had dessert twice today. <laughs> today, I got into the lemon whatever it is in there. <clears throat> There's lemon cake or lemon something. Yep. It's very good. And donuts. And I, 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 yeah, donuts. Cider donuts. Oh, what's for mm. 
I have a feeling it's not terribly interesting. I heard something about vegetable. I heard mac and cheese. Yeah. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Vegetable mac and cheese. No, no, no. Well, no. oh, mac and cheese, that'd be better. Yeah. They're really no. bad for you, mac and cheese. <laughs> I had a piece of that chocolate cake last night. <coughs> In fact, it's not chocolate, it's chocolate mousse or sort of stuff. And it, my blood pressure only went up to 105. Hmm. I, used to eat, I used to eat Hershey bars, a lot of them. And I had a reaction to them. Me too. And I had three trips from the ambulance to the hospital. Really? Heart, heart rate over 140, 150, 160. Couldn't figure out what was doing it. It was chocolate. It was chocolate. So now that I have pills, and I can have, I can, I agree, 10 numbers with two M&M's. <laughs> two M&M's dark chocolate will raise me 10 points. <laughs> it is. I mean, yes. The doctor immediately, you know, back when we didn't know what it was, gave me pills right away. I wonder how many people take all those pills and don't figure out what's causing it. Anyway, go ahead. Next. So in speculates we should have 200 sticks now. We're getting up there. Yeah. Schooner Karen, thank you, Schooner Karen, says Ava. Ava. Cindy's. Can we meet the new intern? She's lovely. There you go. Who are you? Hi, I'm Jenna. <laughs> Who? Jenna? That's a sin. Yeah. Jenna. Yep. That's all I was saying. You have to be named Jenna to become an intern here. <laughs> she was here. She was here all summer. What? Three months. Hi, everybody. Yeah, pretty much. She was from um, Endicott College. Endicott. Is that where you're from? No. U U N E University of New England. Oh, we got a lot of students from there. Yeah. Haley's from U N E. Haley is. Yeah. Maine. Maine. Mm -hmm. That makes life simpler. Jenna. <laughs> David, please thank Beth for helping with the overnights after she finishes work. Does she ever sleep? <laughs> yes. <laughs> hmm? Who was that? Someone's thanking Beth for coming in after work and doing overnights, which she is going to be doing tonight. Well, she's up, she gets out of work at midnight, right? Yeah, thereabouts. Yeah. You know, if she, if she got out at 5 o'clock, sort of a normal thing, you'd go to bed at 10, so right. about 5 yep. hours. No, she'd be up for a while. Yeah. yeah. This takes her a little past bedtime, but it's not too bad. Yeah. It's very handy. Uh-huh. <laughs> she enjoys it. <clears throat> Another amazing observation of Carly. Last week, all the Hurricane Irma models said it was going up the Atlantic, and Carlene said, that thing is going to the Gulf of Mexico, and it did. <laughs> she sees things average people don't see. Or maybe you missed her calling. <laughs> <laughs> I missed a lot of callings. <laughs> I missed a lot of callings. Okay, but this is a question I had also. Where did the quote at the end of the DD come from? This morning's Daily Doggy. I've seen that many times. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't. <laughs> that was a no, good one. There's a slight variation. Yeah. But it, it's, it's a good one. Did they get rid of that fly that was bothering Gabby? Yes. Oh, they did? They did. They okay. yes. got rid of two flies. Mm -hmm. Fly is history until the next time one. of year when they come they in. Race got them both. Yeah. Carlene, when you take Bentley out, do you use him to help you walk? Yes, I do. I took him down to Staples today. Do you have a service dog thing on his vest to yes, hold I on do. to? And a pouch full of pool pickers, uh -huh. just in case. <laughs> Does Sizzle work with you as a? Yep. She's not as good. She's learning. Huh? She was good in Costco. Yeah. Yeah. Ms. Carlene, did you see Sage Bug climb up onto the futon today? No, I didn't, but yes. I know the damn clothes. Sage, no, that she's made it. Yeah. 
it seems too soon. <laughs> it really does. That changes everything. Audrey, do October 4th, according oh, to dear. Tina. Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez, okay. As long as they're not white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, as long as they're not all mantles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mama Donkey looks miserable. Little does she know she's in a great place now. Yeah, she, she, she gets pretty worried. Well, I think... Among other things, people figure that those ears are handles. They always grab a donkey by the ears. Hmm. That's not fair. Grab them by something else. So that now you can't get near her ears because she thinks you're going to grab her ears. Hmm. So it will be about two weeks before we can touch her ears. Carl, sorry. Go ahead. Carlene chocolate is very high in caffeine. It's not the caffeine. Yeah. That's, that causes something else because I. Uh, God, where you No, I've heard other people uh, have problems with blood pressure due to chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all the headaches. I, 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 hmm, I used to have very bad migraines, headaches. Mm -hmm. I was studied in the Boston Headache Clinic. Would you believe it? <laughs> At any rate, um, all the pills that they gave me to try and combat this miserable headache, all had a, just a tiny bit of caffeine in it. Mm -hmm. And if you buy the Excedrin high-powered whatever... Excedrin migraine? My, uh, yeah, I use that. It, it's got a little bit of caffeine mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. So, Tylenol doesn't come that way. No. So I have to buy caffeine pills, which I then break in four. Oh. And, and I take the Tylenol with the caffeine, and it, it's a kicker. It, it does help. Mm -hmm. It does help. I don't, get, I don't get the headaches anymore. I had a doctor once say, ibuprofen and coffee will help you. <laughs> the caffeine. Yep. <clears throat> Are we done yet? Uh, we seem to be. Shall we Food. call it? Okay. I'm going to say goodnight. Must be time for dinner. Everyone have a good night. Thank you for everything. <laughs>